lab 11 networking and uh, IO programming this is a lab we are going to complete today in this lab practice basic uh, socket programming in Windows API and uh, C Sharp there are two tasks the first one using Windows API the second one using C Sharp each example have two template files a server and a client. So we will run the server first, then run the client uh, to connect to the server. We have three review questions. For these review questions, you read the article and write a concise summary, uh, summary about these topics. These topics you can read the online article or read the slides or read the textbook textbook chapter 9 or uh, edition 9 or edition 10 does not matter you can check these uh, links actually these links they are linked to the slides so we only need to uh, practice together with these uh, tasks for the review questions you may complete by yourself so in 70 here we in this folder we have all the contents from github you can use a uh, right click open git bash here and use git pull to pull all updated uh, files ok now we can go to that uh, lab 11 and uh, copy the code and just uh, use ctrl a ctrl c and come back here create a folder lab 11 Ctrl V, paste here. First, let's uh, practice this one the socket programming in Windows API. And you can uh, have a look about this uh, about the source code with Visual Studio Code. Uh, open with the uh, code. We open that folder, lab 11. Now you see the code. Win and CS, CS shop. This Win is a Windows API. Check the server. Here again, you are asked to uh, refer to this official uh, references to explain the program, especially explain what you got. How to compare and run? We use the CL, compare the server.c, and open to developer command prompt for this VS uh, 2019 terminal windows. Then we can compare and run them to the client. Okay, uh, Open a developer prompt, command prompt here. Developer command prompt. Open two of them. Here I open one. The other one actually we just only need to open a general command prompt. It's uh, good enough because we can compare both uh, program in this. Uh, command prompt window and open a second one just type command prompt ok 
Okay, now I have two of them, but this one is still running. Looks like something's wrong. We can cd to that wing photos here. Yeah. Right click, paste here. There are all right, this is the client of CMCL Dev C. So it's uh, quite weird. Actually, we can run that uh, batch program, show up here, and run that one. Program fails. This one is used to set up the Visual Studio environment. Okay, now both uh, comes up. Here I need to uh, use a CD, change it to the folder. Let's copy the folder. Then compare the server and and the client. And now we run the server here. Here you see the procedure how do we uh, use a socket for network programming. These are the steps so you can check the source code. Initialize uh, WinSock, create a socket for listening clients, bind to bind the listening so socket, listening clients, accepting clients. And now on the other window we run the client.exe. Right? We just uh, generate is a client.exe here. So for this uh, client.exe, when you run it, it says how to use it. client.exe server name or IP address. Since I run on the single machine, so we just uh, type localhost. Now you see, uh, it says, says hello to the server, 70 bytes is sent on this side, but we didn't see anything show up here. 
for a client initialize uh, so winsock resolve the server address and the port so the port number it looks like it is a hard coded in the in the source code so we can check here you can see the server the default port number is this number you can change it to other port numbers but now we want to see why we didn't get anything sharp here on the client side it send uh, 13 bytes to the server if it run correctly this server will show it received a message from the client I just press enter on the server side then you see uh, the message uh, show up so you can put them side by side to see the communication here bytes received right received a uh, 17 byte from the client the client said hello my server to me here then the server said hello my client to the client here you can see the server replied this one so this is a simple uh, chatting network program so we can go through the source to see how they are implemented. So for the C sharp implementation, you can find the similar functionality. So please read the official document to have a look on the explanation about the source code. So we can go through the source code. And now for that uh, C shop, here the C shop server and C shop uh, client. Again, okay, how to compare the one on Windows? On Ubuntu is not required. So when we run it on the server here, run both C server client on Windows. We only require this one. First, run this uh, CS server in one command window. This time, we specify the port number from the command line. Then, run the CS uh, client in the other command window to connect to the server. Let's put it side by side. ABCD to that CS folder. You see that CS server and CS client here. We use a C sharp client compiler to compare CS server, then compare CS client. So there are you see uh, the says client.exe is generated and the server.exe is also generated. So on the right command prompt, also cd to that says window. Now let's the server run the server on the left uh, terminal. Says server. It says usage. Says server followed by port number. Let's use a port number five four three two one. And you see the steps. Create TCP listener. Start listening for client requests. Waiting for connection from clients. Or press Ctrl C to exit. 
And in this uh, C sharp implementation, it uses a C sharp class TCP listener. So which means we don't need those uh, low level socket programming. When you go through the source code of this CS uh, cl client.cs, you see they use this library system.net, another socket. When you go, go down, you can find the program how to implement the network programming. Here we can see it create a network stream, the client get stream. Then you can read it right to this stream. So it's uh, that stream here is from this client. You see, it's a use TCP client. This is, uh, you can right click the TCP client to go to Microsoft website to see its explanation, or you just uh, go through these uh, references. On the server side, you can see it use a TCP listener. Right? It's a TCP listener for the server side. The client side it use a TCP uh, client. Okay, now on the the client, we mind says client plus enter. Here the the usage. Client server IP and a port number. Port number we use this port number. We want to connect to this server. Huh? So the server IP is a localhost. And port number five four three two one. Here it said hello to the server. On the server side, press uh, enter. And you can see it says accept the client from this IP address. Connect to the client. Keep reading data from the client. And I received this message from the client. Convert the client message to upcase and send this. Uh, Upcase message back to the client. On the client side, we can press enter. You see, it says the server replied with this message. They are all upcase, right? Now the client disconnect from the server. Press enter to continue. Okay, the completed. On the server side, we didn't see. Uh, Refresh, press enter, you see it is connect from the client. And the wait for uh, another connect connection from clients or we can press Ctrl C to exit. So this is a simple demonstration how do we use TCP client and a TCP listener in C Shop to implement a simple chat program, a server chat with a client.